Hi, I'm Dan Tompkins. I'm the singer for Tesseract, Sky Harbor, and White Moth Black Butterfly. Firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for getting this channel up to 1 million views. I have no idea how that happened. It's such a big number and uh, it's amazing. Uh, we're nearly on 10,000 subscribers as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So please do hit the subscribe button somewhere down here. And uh, hopefully you'll get a notification of when I post a new video. Hopefully should be doing more things like this in the future as well, um, including some question and answers. Uh, type videos. The reason for this particular video is a very kind of hopefully a brief summary of 2014. There's been a lot of significant things that have happened this year that I I just want to just want to shout about I guess. Um, the first thing uh, has has been you know the arrival of my of, of my little boy Jack Ocean. Uh, it's absolutely changed my life completely. Um, I, I mean. I guess for a lot of people out there that have children, you'll, you'll know this, um, but how it affects you, how it changes your, your whole perspective on life is incredible. Um, I'm such a better person for having him, and he really does bring out the best in me. He's inspired me in so many ways over this year. Um, so I'm very grateful, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm very grateful f for my family. And, and for my wife, she's been, an, she's been amazing this year. Everything she's done to, um, to look after him and, and, and my family as well, while, while I've been away on tour, um, uh, she's been through a lot and so have my family and I, I, I'm very grateful to them for all their support, for everything that I do. Um, without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. I'm very happy for a number of reasons because I've worked so hard over the last you know, 11 years as a singer to get my voice to where it is. Um, but also, the sacrifices that I've made over the years have been um, have been big ones. You know, I used to be a police officer. A lot of people already know that. I did it for like eight years. And uh, I sacrificed all of that. I resigned um, to follow the dream of being a singer. And. Uh, it was hard, extremely hard to do that, um, to go from having a very stable earning to having nothing. But that's what you do when you want to be a lifer to music, you know, it's all about music and, and the passion for it is, I've, I've always had a great passion for that. So in April, um, I mean, I had a few months off to just be, be dad and, uh, and get my life kind of reorganized and get a sense of what it is to be, to be a daddy. Um, so after that, I, kind of uh, got involved a little bit further with White Moth um, because uh, last year we released our first album, 1000 Wings. And so we thought we would uh, really hone in the sound a lot more and we put out a new single which was called Rising Sun. And uh, that really is a, a vision for what's to come, I think. And uh, now throughout the rest of this year and into next year, we're going to be writing for the new album. Secondly, uh, this year for Sky Harbour has been incredible. Um, to say we are a multi-continental band, you know, it's very... Uh, people, actually, people think that it's, that it's difficult to do. Um, the truth is, we're all like-minded people, and because of the internet and the way that we are, we all self-produce what we do. Um, you know, the DIY approach is pretty much how it's been for us for the first couple of years. Um, but we, we're constantly talking to each other. We're on Viber, we're on Skype, we're on email, Facebook, and oh, that's that's been the success of the band. Has, has been the way that we can communicate from different corners of the earth. Some of the amazing things that happened this year for Sky Harbour, okay, so firstly, uh, in June this year, uh, just while we were recording the album, we went, we went out on a very small stint uh, on a tour in, the, in Europe, and we played Download Festival this year, which is something to tick off the bucket list for me. I mean, I've always wanted to play Download Festival. I've been there, for, you know, years uh, going there to see my favorite bands play, so to be on stage there, and, and do it myself was a, a huge privilege and I, I look forward to doing that again at some point. We also played Grass Pop Festival in Belgium as well, which is another huge metal gathering, uh, which I'm, I feel very lucky to have been able to take part in. 
Uh, thirdly, we got nominated for a Metal Hammer Golden God Award um, in, for Global Metal Band. Uh, we didn't win it, we didn't expect to, um, but to be nominated for that is, again, is a huge privilege. So Sky Harbour this year uh, were also nominated for a Prog Award. Again, I'm pretty much speechless, uh, you know, to be nominated for those two amazing awards um, was another big privilege. Um, we had a very successful pledge campaign, and I know that probably most of you that are watching this video now pledged. Um, it, you know, we absolutely smashed our target in no time at all. We didn't expect to do that, but what it meant was that we were able to get uh, Forrester Savile, who's an amazing mi mixer and producer from Australia, to mix our album, and the end result was astounding. You know, it's, it's one of my favourite works so far. Um, I'm very, very proud of the sound that we've created there. And it also meant that we were able to produce a couple of really outstanding videos. Michael from Canada, he's helped us tremendously over this last year with artwork and putting together the video for Evolution and we, um, we're really grateful to him so please go check out him and his work and hire him. <laughs> he's been a gem for us. Uh, also um, a lady called Jess Cope and, uh, and Tom Kay and the team at Owl House Studios produced the video for Patience and such a big fan of, of Jess's work um, to have an uh, the shadow puppet animated video that we have is something that I'll treasure for the rest of my life. Um, it's like a small movie in itself and it's very, very endearing, very heart, uh, very heartfelt and very moving. Um, Sky Harbour went out and did a, um, a, a very small tour in India and that was amazing. Thank, thank you to Mixtape, uh, the management company out there that helped us put that together. Headlining the Bacardi NH7 Weekender was a true highlight for me um, to go over and play to the thousands of people that attended. Um, thank you so much. Uh, so in August this year, I announced that I had rejoined Tesseract, which again is just another significant point in time for me. When I originally left the band, in 2011, 2012, I believe it was, I just was not in a position to um, to maintain the lifestyle that we had. Uh, and so for, for that and for personal reasons, I, I, I had to leave. And we always said that at some point in the future, we would work together again um, in some capacity. But I, I have to admit, I, I never imagined that I would be back in the band uh, this year already we've achieved some great things together um, we've signed a brand new record deal with K-Scope um, which means that we we have uh, a host of albums that we need to uh, to work on we went on a European Scandinavian and Russian tour uh, in October and November uh, which was absolutely insane and I want to say personal thank you to everyone that turned out to a show and everyone that showed their support for me being back in the band Thank you. And thirdly, we managed to open Sonosphere Festival and be on the same stage as Iron Maiden. I feel very confident now, moving into the future, that uh, we're going to produce some amazing music from Sky Harbour, from Tesseract, and from White Moth, Black Butterfly. All the support, all the albums you buy, all the pleasures you make, all the messages you send, they mean a great deal to me personally um, so please don't be disheartened if I don't get back to you it's just I'm not ignoring you I just have I'm a bit overwhelmed at times I, I guess that kind of leads me on to the end of this video listen have a great Christmas look after yourselves be safe and uh, I'll see you on the other side next year hopefully on tour and with some great new music to follow catch you later <laughs>